Technology is evolving rapidly. AI and machine learning is taking over every field you can imagine. If you want to get into this trend and learn more about these technologies, the best way you can do so is by learning the Python programming language. Python not only helps in AI and machine learning, it also helps in other things like web servers and uh, machine applications. So this is a small series that I'm creating to help you understand Python. It goes from the basics on how you can install Python and we can go to advanced topics later on like loops, functions and more. In this first video we won't be doing much, all we're doing is installing Python, a code editor to write our code and also we'll just run a single line of code to see if everything is working properly. So let's get started. So to get started you need to go ahead and install Python. For that you should go to python.org, link is in the description and from here you'll have to go downloads and download the version you want. Now, whichever platform you're on, Windows, Linux, Mac OS, it'll ho all be there in this website. So, you can download the latest version and, uh, yeah, if you don't know how to install an application, just go ahead and run through the installer. Once Python is installed, you will have to install something to write your code. Now, by default, on Windows, you can use something like Ideally, which is, which is good, but then there are many other better editors made by other companies so the two i would recommend are visual studio code or pycharm now pycharm has a free version and vs code is completely free so pycharm is a bit more heavier and may require more uh, resources to run i think vs code is a bit more lightweighter and um, it's what i'll be using for this video so you can go ahead and install VS Code. So just go to code.visualstudio.com or if you want PyCharm, just go to just prince.com slash PyCharm. So you can just go here and install it. This is also fairly easy to install. So once you've installed VS Code, you can go ahead and open it up. Yours might not look like this. It might be a bit more simpler. Mine looks like this because I have installed a theme and done whatnot. So once you've opened it up, go to file, open folder, and you'll have to choose a folder where you're going to save your code. So for that, I'm going to save it in my uh, in a folder I've created called developer, and in there I have a few folders. I'm just going to save it here. So once that folder has opened up, you can create a file. So I'm going to call it main.py. Now py is required because it is the extension for Python. So any Python file you create should have the py extension. So just to check out if our um, setup is working correctly, you can just type in print hello world. Now you can go ahead and plus on the, press the play button and it will run the code for you. And you can see it says hello world. You can obviously go ahead and open this file in your finder or file explorer and you can see the files there in the folder that you have saved it. Now this is fairly simple, all we're doing is printing the word or printing two words, hello world. Every time we run this, it just goes here and executes this line and the program finishes. So that's what's happening here. Now. This is very basic and in the next video we'll be having a look at what variables are, data types are and that sort of things. So that was it for this video. In the next video we're going to have a look at variables and data types. So how we can create variables, change the values and check the type of each variable. So see you there.